Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. I just got home from a vacation the other day and had a nice surprise waiting for me. A new uh, Flash Forge Creator X, uh, which I had ordered, arrived several weeks ahead of schedule. So uh, I got that set up and I have it running side by side here with the original Flash Forge Creator. I figured I'd give you guys a little tour of the, uh, of the new one and how it compares with the original Creator. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we have uh, both printers running side by side, and uh, as you can see, the designs are similar. On the right, we have the original uh, Flash Forge Creator, and on the left, we have the new and improved Flash Forge Creator X. So the uh, the main improvements uh, are the the build plate itself, which I'll give you a closer look at in a moment. They've gone with a thicker. Uh, aluminum build plate uh, about 6.3 millimeters thick uh, which is much thicker than the original one and therefore prevents any kind of warping and will give you a nice level build plate and that was a nice improvement. They also replaced the four-point leveling system with a three-point leveling system which is a lot easier to use and uh, the frame itself has been upgraded to aluminum uh, whereas the uh, the original is all wood construction. The panels on the sides are still wood, but the frame itself and the base plate are aluminum, which uh, not only makes it sturdier, but uh, also is nice for when you know materials like maybe glue that you're working with or other materials like that might drip on that uh, bottom plate. It doesn't stick as much as it did on the wood, so it's easier to clean up. The uh, heart of the printer is fairly similar. Uh, the specifications are the same essentially as far as the extruder and uh, other main components. Uh, like I said, the build plate has been upgraded, the frame has been upgraded. The, uh, they have some new corner fittings to uh, solidify the Y-axis a little bit more. And uh, they have some LED lighting inside the case. Uh, that happened to arrive uh, DOA, uh, not working on mine, but uh, I'm sure that would be easily replaced. And uh, so for now, I have some LED lights mounted on top, as you may be able to see there, so that I can, I can see the print going. Overall, uh, like I said, very similar in terms of uh, capabilities. I would expect, though I have not tested this thoroughly yet, I would expect that the Creator X can achieve somewhat higher print speeds just because of the improved stability from the uh, case itself, the Y-axis stabilization, uh, and the improved build plate, but uh, I have not really tested that extensively. The uh, noise level seems to have been reduced a little bit compared to the original, though not a ton. They're, they're very similar in terms of the sound produced, though it sounds like the fans might be a little bit quieter on the Creator X. Maybe that's just because it's so new. But uh, otherwise, like I said, they, uh, they are similar in, in design and capabilities. This is just basically an improved version 2 of the original uh, Flash Forge Creator. So, just going for a closer look on some of the components here on the, on the new Creator X. Okay, so here's the printers running side by side. Uh, I've got all the filaments mounted up top there for easy loading and unloading. Though both printers do have spool holders on the back so that you can mount them uh, that way as well. First thing you'll notice, as I said, is a nice clean design. It's, uh, it's got a real nice all black uh, design to it and, and looks really nice. The uh, insides look very similar, dual extruders, just like the original. In fact, it looks like they're both using the exact same MKH extruders. Uh, everything there in terms of the hardware, again, very similar. So one other improvement they made in the design, uh, if you can see this on the side here, the sides of the Creator X are now covered with wood panels. Whereas on the original, slide over here so you can see that, in the original creator those sides were open. So this is going to provide an advantage in particular when printing with ABS. ABS likes to have a nice warm enclosed build area with no drafts. So that will help improve quality with ABS prints. When you're printing with PLA, you need really good ventilation and fans going on it. I usually have some fans blowing in from the side, so I'll have to do that a little bit differently with the Creator X, but 
there, uh, there is still an opening on the top, on the front, and some smaller openings on the side, so I should be able to rig something up that will get the job done. Okay, so going in for a closer look, uh, the first thing you'll see is that build plate, like I said, is significantly thicker. They've redesigned this with a 6.3 millimeter uh, aluminum build plate, which has excellent heat conductivity and provides a very level surface and provides uh, improved results as compared to the original, which I did have some minor warping issues with. Uh, that should not be an issue with this design. The case itself, as I said, is a metal frame, uh, so the bottom inside is metal, as is the frame itself, but then these panels that go around the frame are wood, uh, just like the original, but that metal frame does give it improved stability overall. You have a, uh, a modified design in terms of the uh, leveling for the build plate. You can only see the front here. This is a You've got two adjustments in the front and then there's one centered in the back, so you've got a three-point adjustment system as opposed to the original, which was a four-point uh, adjustment, which was a little bit more difficult to work with, so that's been improved. Uh, there is an LED uh, strip lighting uh, set in the upper recess in, uh, up, up under this part of the printer here. Like I said, that is not working in mine. It arrived uh, defective, so I'll have that replaced. But that would provide some nice interior lighting for the print um, while, you're, uh, while it's going. Noise levels seem to be very similar. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, right up close with the audio here so you can hear the difference. So let's first go to the original uh, FlashForge Creator. Okay, and then here we have the new FlashForge Creator X. So as you can see, very similar in terms of noise level. The Creator X might be running just a little bit quieter just because of the design being overall a little bit more stable, but uh, not a big difference, not very noticeable. They're both fairly quiet, not the quietest of printers, but not too noisy either. We keep these running pretty much uh, around the clock all through the night and uh, doesn't, doesn't really create too much of noise outside of this room. Another improvement they made is on the case itself, they have added these little rubber feet. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that well here, but there's feet that now have a, a nice rubberized surface that helps it to stick to the table and prevent any slipping and vibrations. So with the original FlashForge Creator, I actually had to add on some, I've got some Velcro uh, wrapped around each of the corners, which affects the, has the same effect. It keeps the, the printer from moving around with the vibrations and, and uh, keeps it nice and still. They've, they've gone ahead and built that into the design here, which is really nice. So it uh, sits nice and still. Uh, the rubber absorbs any, any vibration that there might be from the movement, which also helps to keep the printer itself more stable. And that affects your overall quality of so uh, overall, like I said, it's essentially the same printer. They've made upgrades to various uh, aesthetics and uh, some functional details, but overall this is uh, kind of a version two of the FlashForge Creator. Uh, same printer at heart, but uh, several improvements which make it uh, nicer to use overall and well worth the small price difference. Uh, last I saw it was about $100 different between the two models, so if you are in the market for a new printer, I would definitely recommend uh, taking a close look at the Creator X, and uh, you, you won't be dissatisfied for the price. It's, uh, it's a great little printer. Thanks everyone for watching. Talk to you again soon.